to a lot of confusion as to exactly what is happening in the country and the scale of this attack. Can you give us any sense of, of how much of the country is being targeted? Initially, it was thought it was just the Donbass region, but now it appears that it is much wider. We're hearing reports from the Russian Defense Ministry that uh, Ukraine's military infrastructure is being reported. We're getting reports of explosions around the country. Can you, do, can you tell us the scale of this attack? Well, it does certainly seem that this is across the country and not just restricted to the Donbass. Obviously, I'm here and I'm just reliant on what I can see <coughs> online as long as I have internet. Um, I have seen images that claim to be of uh, Ukrainian airfields, even our west, in the city of Ivano-Frankivsk, almost uh, on the Polish border, that would seem to have been attacked. Um, that was coming from Ukrainian sources. Um, reports, uh, as I mentioned, from Odessa in the south and the Black Sea, reports that Russian troops had come by sea there, um, and similar reports from of strong attacks on Mariupol, which is the city on the Sea of Azov in Donbass also. So this would seem to be all across the country at the same time, a coordinated attack. Uh, interestingly enough, we've heard reports from Russian media and Ukrainian media saying that they looked at the metadata of Putin's speech in which he basically outlined his game plan or his, his, his operation in Ukraine. And that would seem to suggest that he had recorded that several days before, that this was premeditated, pre-planned, and that this, uh, that this video was then released uh, at command in, in the early hours of this morning, having been recorded much earlier. It does seem to have taken the Ukrainian leadership by surprise. Um, reports from the Ukrainian media saying they weren't able to get through to uh, Ukrainian government speakers, that they uh, hadn't really, uh, weren't on, on it on that Putin speech as fast as they should be, and it did take a while for President Zelensky to uh, react. Um, a sense here, though, now that things are changing, that the police and that other emergency services are heading towards the front lines. Um, no overwhelming sense of panic from them, but certainly concern and confusion, given that most people here for the longest time thought those warnings from Washington and from London were uh, exaggerated, that this was just brinkmanship from Vladimir Putin and didn't really want to believe that these threats and that build-up of Russian troops along the border was actually real and going to be used uh, against Ukraine. Nick, thank you very much for now. We'll